Hi guys, it's Erin the Tacky Painter and today we're going to paint this cute little baby dragon. All the materials that I used for this painting will be listed in the description below. Now let's get tacky. So I'm just using my Prismacolor Color Erase Pencil in violet and just sketching in my dragon. My mixed media paper is just taped on with some masking tape so it doesn't move around and so when I put water on it, it doesn't buckle. I'm really glad that these pencils have an eraser and they erase fairly easily. You just have to remember to draw lightly with them. I decided to draw wings on this dragon. I couldn't really decide if I wanted an eastern dragon or a western dragon, so I went with a western dragon and just drew some wings on her. <laughs> now I've just got my purple watercolor paint from Sakura Koi. And I'm just adding my shadow color. I decided the light was going to come from the top right corner and so I just put shadows where I thought they should be. And now I'm coming back and sort of deepening those shadows because watercolors I've learned they dry lighter as opposed to acrylics which dry darker. Now I've got my Genzai Tambi watercolors that in their pearlescent colors. I really enjoy using these. Using some for her horns and on her belly there. And if you've watched a few of my other videos, uh, you may notice that in this video the background is eerily quiet, there's no screaming children. That's because I'm doing the voiceover when they're all asleep. It's a miracle. It's the only time that they're quiet. <laughs> so for the wings, I just sort of got the area wet, and then I came back and dabbed in the colors. I wanted it to sort of have this tie-dye look. And I do like how it came out, I think it made a neat effect. So now I'll come back with some shimmery gold and add that to the diamonds on her. And then I've just taken some yellow and dabbed that onto the wings while they're still wet. Giving her some claws. Now I did a mixture of white, purple, and the shimmery white, and I added that to the rest of her skin. I didn't want to leave her lightest parts completely white, if that makes any sense. Now I'm darkening in the parts on her belly where they would be in shadow. And I've just come back over my pearlescent colors with the same colors except in just the regular watercolor. Just to darken them up a little bit on that one side. Now I've taken my Micron pen. I believe it's a .05 fine liner. And I'm just going back over my lines just to sharpen up the edges and put a finishing touch on it. I realized that I definitely need more practice with this. Oh, also I got a hair dryer finally so that my paintings won't take me as long because I'm not sitting there waiting for the paint to dry. I've never owned one before. I just think it's funny that the one time I buy one, it's because I need it for my painting. <laughs> so yeah, that definitely came in handy. and I realized that my hand is not very steady as I trace in these lines. But I will continue to practice. Oh, there's my head. And I just added some lines to her horns. And with that, we're done. So I just want to remind you that there's always something to look forward to, and I look forward to painting with you guys again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified every week when I add new videos. And here's another video I think you might enjoy. Stay tacky, my friends.